What's the difference one year later between 4 Handicap and a Tour Pro on a course neither has ever played? Quadzilla Mo joins me for a round at Lum Lugar Golf Course on the outskirts of nowhere. Before we start, note the size of the greens in the map images on the right. I've never seen such small greens, and they were actually designed that way. It's not the fairway reclaiming the land. First difference is my go-to club is the two iron. When I'm feeling cramped or low confidence on the driver and the woods, I'm swiping the two iron or even the four iron. Moe's go-to club is the driver and then his knockdown three wood. Having a go-to club that is 40 to 80 yards longer than my go-to club is the difference between a six iron into the green versus a sand wedge. That's something. The similarity between us is we're both cold and cramped after driving an hour to get here and so we hit a couple of puffy shots approaching the green. <laughs> Hashtag Ask relatable. <laughs> Relatable. Hey, what a putter. Dead the difference in tee shots is always glaringly obvious between me and Mo. His confidence and positioning is infinitely better than mine. And on those tiny greens, you need good positioning off the tee. His tee shots are long nice. and go where he needs them to go. Might be this yard puts yard him in a position to hit low lofted clubs from good lies, thereby hitting it closer the to the hole. I'm not talking about him hitting it into the rough, closer to the green. I mean he hits it long and in the fairway. Proximity to the hole stats speak for themselves. Pros on the USPGA fare just as well on approach shots from 150 to 175 yards in the fairway as they do from 75 to 100 yards in the rough. Fairway is better. There are rarely trees, water or Oscar Bravo in the fairway. Here's where the chasm opens between us. In a straight up match, my short game will keep me scrambling for pars and praying he misses his birdies. There are two things that never survive. Dogs chasing cars and pros putting for pars. Pros are playing against par. We are playing against our handicap. In my mind, I'm playing against par, but it's really a delusion. I don't practice nearly enough to have the honor of counting par as my true adversary. Shooting 80 on a new course for a four handicap is good enough. Anything better and I'm very happy. That, that line should be good for you. For me, it's Eric, be in the water. my coach, told me we have our A game once or twice a year for a short period. That's when you shoot great scores. 
The rest of the year, you're playing your B, C and D game with scrambling keeping you in the fun zone. Professionals B, C and D games are on different level to ours. You can imagine what an achievement it was for Tiger to win everything in sight and hold the number one ranking for so long. Remember that when you watch the leaders on the PGA Tour on the weekend. The top 10 on the leaderboard are not struggling. They're in the A-game zone and may last two or three months. But it will leave them again. Shot, Next time you play poorly, it's just your D-game. Your A game will come, but until then, juggle the B, C and D game with your chipping and putting. So stress free baby. Mind bending relaxation when you realize that's how golf works. When you see the top 10 on the PJ Tour on the weekend, remember that's the top 5% of top 1% of golfers in the entire world you're watching. Perspective player. Hit like driver and then lock shot iron. You should you should be like full iron and full iron. This is a skill that a lot of handicap golfers think we need, shot shaping. You don't need to shape shots. No stinger, no flop, no fade, Where's slice, it? hook or draw on command. If you can find your predominant shot shape, you can play single figure golf. The pros need to shape shots to attack pins and set up better positions for more birdies because they're playing against par. Their tees are often tucked behind trees and at angles that necessitate shot shaping. Old man par is not friendly, especially when you think you're better than him. Maybe not. I'm not sure you've noticed Mo smuggling beef carcasses under his trousers. He's worked hard the last two years in the gym and that's another difference. The focus and dedication behind the scenes to do stuff you might want to do um, to get yeah, better at boys? golf as a job. Hours on the range, heavy things in the gym, thousands <laughs> I mean, of putts, like, mental work. Nope.
It's not easy and Mo works hard. I trained and lived with Mo for four days in 2019. It was actually his easy week at the time and I still nearly died. The shots he is able to hit, he's earned them. He was a 10 handicap a few years ago, so it wasn't that he was hitting hellacious bombs straight out of the womb. Oh, 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 so, Mo, not sure how the ball's gonna react. Sticks it to a foot. What a man. What did you hit? Longer? Man. Damn, that's long. Fair way, baby. What a layup. I'm like, it's definitely like a yard, man. Where was this gap? It's here, man. Like, you, you see, uh, you, need, you need to come here. You need to come at the ball. So you see the gap right there. There's like one yard gap, like one yard hole over there. And then you can hit a draw, you're gonna end up at the Birdie baby! Birdie! Oh. <laughs> what happened man? Huh? It's, it's just like... <laughs> Dude, it's my first time getting this camera. First time ever on camera, what a man. It's the power of the player. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> what a shot! On this shot, Mo told me he could pull the shot off because he has a drill where he has to stop his swing a foot after impact. I don't have that shot. All I could think about was breaking the shaft. Mo would be thinking about stopping his four iron a foot oh, after the shot the and hitting the green. Huge difference in mindset, different universes. My poor play plus my poofy's mindset led to a double and I know Mo is not making many doubles from under the tree. Mainly because he wouldn't be under the tree, but if he were, he'd make a bogey at worst. Good shot, bro. Ho ho ho, monster baby. Very fine. 
Finder. Fairway Finder 310. Pitching. Did it hit the slope? <laughs> what a shot. That's top 10. Shot, baby. Oh, man, I'm alive. What a great shot, my man. Is that a sim? Yep. It's beautiful. Yep. Draw. It has no draw. That is perfect, baby. Not in the one. Oh, ho, ho, what a shot. That's a bullet, baby. There's a storm, like, your hips going this way, but like... <laughs> that was amazing. Man alive, what a shot.
And that concludes a run of holes going from level par to 8 over. That's why I'm a 4 handicap and not a scratch golfer. But players, this is an area we can all become as good as pros. We can overcome our emotional and decision-making problems. We just need to remain in the moment. We are going to have a bad run of holes. It's always going to happen. We can only control ourselves. Watch these next few holes. This is what I'm yeah. most proud of in my game since returning to golf three years ago. I gave up on golf twice yeah. before due to the mental game. I was crushed by perfectionism and over expectation living five steps into the future. But then, after going plus eight over a few holes, I would have shot 90. But not anymore. And that's why this channel exists. To show you that life is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, stress free. <laughs> Smashing bait. Okay, players, truth be told, I have a bit of a shizer on board. And it's not a good one. You know, you get the solid ones, but you just can't wait to get, you know, done with the round. You're quite patient. You want to get out there, get in the clubhouse. You can't wait to just sit down, boom, it comes out in the water, right? I stopped twice on the way here at petrol stations, and then once around the, the course now to evacuate. And it's not pretty. Okay, it's not pretty. I had too many chilies last night. We've got two more holes here. This is my style of golf. I found the fairway, center of the fairway on the 11th hole, playing the 17th. This is golf, baby. This is golf. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna go have a little bite to eat, have a little brew, a little coffee, and then hit the, hit the head again. Get it out. Okay, let's go, baby. That's the one I wanted. Maybe a bit short, bro. Mm. Now we'll work on that. Don't worry, we'll work on that and we'll get your distance control correct. <laughs> Good aim though. Perfect, right? Perfect, huh? Perfect. Ooh! 181, baby. Great shot. Thank you. I think the ball is good.
That's great, baby. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Great shot. That's the one, baby. Woo!